Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and as you might have guessed from the title of the video and this gigantic box on the table, we are going to be doing an unboxing and an initial print from the Elegoo Saturn Resin Printer. I am very excited to test this guy out. Okay, so for this video, this is just gonna be an unboxing. We're gonna look at what we get here, and I'm gonna be setting it up, uh, leveling the bed, and looking at uh, doing an initial print. So I'm really excited about this printer because it falls sort of in the middle in resin printers that I have. Uh, I've got an Elegoo uh, Mars. It was the first resin printer I ever got. And uh, as you know from previous videos, you can check out some of the links. Uh, I've got a uh, Phenom Piopoli L, which uh, Piopoli Phenom L, which is gigantic. Uh, so this is a mid-range resin printer. Uh, it's, of course, a lot bigger than the... Um, than the Mars, but not as big as the uh, the Piopoli. So I'm really excited to try this guy out. Okay, so one of the things I see I really like off the bat are in all the corners of these hard plastic pieces. That's really nice because the corners on these things can usually take, you know, box-wise a good hit. And to have these hard plastic things against the foam uh, very, very well uh, packed. Of course, some nice big pieces of foam. What do we have first? We've got a booklet which is pretty good. We'll just throw that away and never look at it. Uh, we've got some uh, FEP sheets, some extra FEP sheets, really nicely packed. That is great. We will save these. Uh, hopefully we won't need them right away, but they'll be there if we need them. Uh, so what do we have next here? We've got a toolkit. Let's look at that later. Let's go in here and get this printer out. Okay. So there we go. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. And uh, it comes super duper wrapped. Sometimes I think the plastic wrap is a little insane. So let's get this off. Okay, so most of the plastic's off. Great red case, it's in really nice shape. Set that there. Plastic bag. Of course, we've got our multi-foam layers here. We need to be careful. So there's one piece of foam. And, okay. So here we go with the build plate. Nice size. We'll come do some comparisons later. Okay, so let's get in here a little bit closer and see what comes in the toolkit. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We, of course, have a little beaker, which comes in handy for other things, not really resin printing. Uh, a decent amount of pair of gloves. I'd say, what, three, three pair of gloves? That's fantastic. It's getting easier to find gloves, but still, it's nice to get a few pair for free. We've got a great uh, metal scraper, again, for the build plate, never to be used on the FEP or in the VAT. We've got some strainers, some resin strainers. These are fantastic. They're just paint strainers, but it's nice to get some in there. We've got a couple masks. Uh, again, uh, I don't usually use these when I'm working in resin printing, but uh, I'll use them outside. What else do we have? We've got a little uh, Allen wrench. Okay, so I had a little bit of a video issue. What you also get in the toolkit is, of course, the power, the plug, the brick, and a plastic scraper for your vat. So back to setting the machine up. Now, this little piece of plastic on here actually comes with this little tab now, and it's kind of handy because some people were actually taking off this black tape, which holds the screen down. So this little tab just says, just pull up the tab and it'll remove the plastic film, kind of like you get with other electronics like cell phones and whatnot. And I think it's really a great uh, thing to do to add these extra instructions to help people out who haven't set these printers up before. And of course, the back of the vat has something like that and it's telling you just pull, peel that off leaving all of the confusion out of it now like the mars the saturn is just solid it is all metal construction it is heavy it is well built uh, i was not expecting any less i had seen some other reviews 
and uh, very, very happy with this, how this thing is built. Solid machine. I'll probably actually be putting my Mars uh, into retirement and just setting this up next to the Phenom because uh, I don't need, you know, three resin printers running. The two will be just fine. So if we look off to the side, we can see that the USB port is there. Apparently it was on the front and they moved it because uh, resin was dribbling on it. So uh, I don't care it's on the side. That's fine as long as it's not on the back. So on the back, we have power, the plug, and an ether net port and two fans and if we move along the front we can see we have a dual rail system which is going to help with wobble it's going to make things more stable and that's just going to make for sharper prints which is very cool so if we look at the build plates this is the mars you can see it's very scratched up very well worn and well used and you can see just how much bigger this is how many more models and the size of the models we're going to be able to fit so now it's time to do some leveling. Very simple process. The other fantastic addition to this printer are these larger uh, bolts, these larger screws, so they won't get stripped. We loosen bolts so it's nice and wobbly. Uh, and this way, when it hits the LCD screen in the bottom, it will just sort of level itself out. I've sped that up, of course, and now we make sure it's nice and square and lined up on the plate, and we tighten these guys up. Again, these things are much larger than the Mars, and uh, they are definitely not going to strip, so that is a fantastic update. And now it is time to go ahead and check the LCD. I want to make sure and the LEDs that they didn't get banged loose. Sometimes this happens in shipping. We can see we have lights, we have illumination, and we're ready to print. Now, this, the next big thing I love about this printer is this vat. These handles that you can pick this thing up so easily is great. And these little notches, boom, it just falls right into place. They are fantastic. The other great thing about those notches are they are on the bottom of the vat. So when it sits flat, the bottom of the vat is not going to be touching the table. Now, the one thing I'm not sure about yet are these screws. You have to take them all the way out to remove the vat. Not sure about that, but we'll see. Go ahead and put in our USB and our resin. This is an Elegoo resin, actually. It's Elegoo black. Uh, I usually use uh, Sierra Tech, but I saw this black resin in something, and I just wanted to really, really try it. And we're going to put the cover on and get ready to do this test print. So I love this screen. It is so sharp and so crisp. Now, instead of doing a normal test print, I never really do that. I just sort of jump in with a really, really hard print. And this is actually going to be a Christmas present for my brother. He is a huge Lord of the Rings fan. And this is Sauron in his armor. I got it over on Game Body. There will be a link in the description. And there we go. It's lowering into the vat and getting rid of the print. I did a little bit of time lapse. You know, time lapse with a resin printer is kind of tricky because you really don't see the magic happening a lot of times because um, of all the the um, the supports. But I thought I'd give it a try. And there we go. We just loosen that big bolt up top, slide the build plate out, and you can see this thing did a fantastic job. Uh, it is really, really sharp. I am so incredibly impressed. This was a great test model because it has got so, so much detail. And we'll look at a little bit of a close-up later on. And again, this was a, a Christmas present for my brother. And that's one of the reasons why I waited till after Christmas to do this video, because he takes a look at these videos. Now, uh, it was kind of difficult to get off the build plate um, just because it's got some really good suction. It just stays right on there. Uh, and, and I was very, very impressed. Uh, I'm looking at getting one of those wham bams. I'm not sure. I'm going to give it a try. Mm -hmm. If you've got one. Put it in the description below whether or not you like it, and uh, I'm going to definitely be considering it. But look at the detail you got with this printer. I mean, there is texture in the armor. So yeah, the detail in this is crazy. Super happy so far. So this is it. This was the initial print and unboxing. Um, you know, this isn't a full review. That will come out later. I still need to run a lot more resin through it. But first looks, I'm really, really happy with this so far. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that little bell and you'll know when the next video is coming out. Take it easy, guys.